That's me. What I do is I come to different parts. Oh, yeah, I see. I'm the original Navajo and Apache of this land. Yes, I am. You know that we're Hebrews? And I'm um, from the tribe of Gad. That would be the original Navajo and Apaches. And, um... Why didn't you go with them to Miss I come here sometimes and I speak. When So when you came up, I thought you was, um... Saying, ma'am, uh... Didn't the police get called on you last time? <laughs> Don't come up <laughs> That's when I was like, oh, man. I take it out my earbuds. What's going on now? Hey, John. And um, I can, you know, bear witness. I almost died nine times. So I can bear witness that we're the Hebrews. And that's and this is, by natural law, this is still my land. So that's why I was like, you know, why was you asking me that? But, uh, and I've seen the one they call Jesus Christ. And what I do is I go speak in different parts because the Bible says suffer not little children. What do you know about us being Hebrews? You know anything about us? The, the Bible talks about slave ships and the word nigger and stuff like that. You know that's in there? i tell you what happened to me. I got a brain injury. Almost died nine time, times. I've been to hell and back. And uh, I went to the military. The spirit of Gad is of a warrior. That's how we were defined. Genesis 49 19. A troop shall overcome Gad. But he shall overcome in the end. So 98, a burst of light entered my body. 2006, it took me to hell and back. 2008, it showed me a vision concerning this place. You know, there are women in the Bible like me. Do you know that? Deborah, Anna, Mary Magdalene, Hilda. This is in the book of Acts. We're not recognized. So, 98, I told you 98, what the hell and back. 2006, 2008 showed me a vision. I, I just tell you what I saw. He said, he shook my whole house. He said, enough is enough. I didn't want to hear it. Still running like Jonah in the well. You know about Jonah, right? Mm -hmm. So, I put the pillow over my head. So, in about 15 minutes to my sleep, I was awakened. And I was transformed from the crown of my head until the sole of my feet. I was made new. And I was descending down into a building. That building had a window with it about 60 feet across, and I could see people walking through that window every day, so it wasn't the days of Noah. The sky rolled back. I'm seeing it real time, but it's in the future. He said, enough is enough. That's when I looked up. I walked past the Browns table with the white flowers on it. He said, enough is enough. Chicago will be the first to fall. So that same day, April 17, 2008 at 2 o'clock at night, April 17 was the same day that he told Noah to enter the ark. We destroyed it with the flood. He said Chicago will be the first to fall. You know what's going on every day in Chicago? Everything.